Hey, what's up? This is Atlas Knight. Um, I'm over here shopping for some video games. I saw on their Best Buy website that they had the Rainbow Six Siege for uh, PS5 for $9.99, so I'm looking around for it right now. I'm looking at some more games and stuff, too. I was thinking about buying this, but uh, I'm not really sure yet. I may get this later. All the Nintendo Switch OLEDs and regular Nintendo Switches and Nintendo Switch lights are like all sold out. There's not none over here. They do have a display model though. Uh, while I'm over here, um, I don't know, I might find another RPG game I'm interested in on Nintendo Switch. Monster Hunter Rise. Hmm. I think this is like the newest Monster Hunter they have right here. It might be. Let's see, they have Persona 5 Strikers. For $34.99. And this is over here at Best Buy. This game is still 50, almost $60. It was well, it's $52.99. This game's been out for two years. This game should only be like $30, no, probably like $30 at the highest. But since it's on Nintendo, it's more valuable. Like, in case you don't know, like almost any RPG game you own on um, Nintendo Switch is going to be way more higher in value because not that many people sell Nintendo Switch games. And they had the newest Super Mario game here, uh, Mario Party Superstars. This one right here. Uh, if I buy this stuff, I'll just get it from GameStop because I got a whole bunch of rewards points. I get half a million rewards points on GameStop, so I could just get it for free over there. But um, if you don't have none, I do recommend buying it from up over here because I think they do have a um, rewards point system. I don't know if it's, uh, I don't think it's as good as GameStop, but it's okay. It's kind of cool right here. It'd be a cool disc place for my game room. Oh, um, let me see. I don't think they have any accessories for Nintendo Switch OLED. They don't even have a case for it, but like that's not nowhere yet. Like, they don't have no cases that can fit the Nintendo Switch OLED at stores. You would have to buy it off, like, Amazon or eBay or Facebook Marketplace, but I recommend Amazon. These are all just for the regular Nintendo Switches and Nintendo Switch Lite. Hmm, it's pretty nice right here. I like that. Now, let me go look for these PS5 games. There's a PS5 right here, but I think that's just the uh, prototype. Or maybe like one of the display ones that like don't have nothing inside. It just has a outer shell that looks like a PS5. Huh, 
I didn't know Tales of Arise was on Xbox. I thought that was only like a PS5 exclusive game. I had no idea this was on Xbox One. Shocking. I do own the Xbox One, but I really don't play Xbox like that. I love PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4 Pro and Nintendo Switch OLED. And no, I'm not dissing on Xbox. I just don't really like it that much. Let's see. Oh, yeah, here are the PS5 games over here. Now, this should be $9.99 at any um, Best Buy store. If you go on the Best Buy website, you can get this game for $9.99 right now on BestBuy.com. Let's see, it's original price before. If it wasn't on sale, it's original price. I don't see it down here, but I'm assuming it'd probably be like $39 or $49 without the uh, discount. They have death food, damn. Look at this for $29.99. I might have to buy that. <laughs> I might have to say though, some of these sales are a whole lot better than GameStop. On the GameStop website, they get like buy two, get one free for like equal or lesser value. But over here though, a lot of them are actually have better prices than GameStop, certain games. Uh, man, let me take a look at this game real quick. I don't know. I may get that later. Because it might get cheaper when it hits actual Black Friday. I think Black Friday is like the same day as Thanksgiving. Let me make sure I'm not missing anything else good down here. Man. I don't have that many PlayStation 5 games yet. I get like 16. When I buy this, this will be like my 17th one. But I do own a lot of PS4 games. I have over 465 PlayStation 4 games. That's all fiscal copies. Call of Duty Vanguard. It's the newest Call of Duty game. And um, also another way to build up your gaming collection really quick, um, besides waiting for like Black Friday and Christmas sales, you can go to your local pawn shops and you'll be able to find like a whole bunch of good PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 and Nintendo Switch and Xbox One games, depending on where you live at. Just like search around your local pawn shops, you'll be surprised. And they'll let you bargain with them. You can get them to lower down the prices. But um, it's not completely guaranteed. Some people are just um, hard asses. So they won't... Sometimes they just won't go down the price. Let's see. These are all just headsets. They don't never have no discounts though on none of these uh, PlayStation Plus memberships. They do online, but not in the stores. Got the PlayStation 5 controllers up over here. PlayStation 5 controller charger. It's not a bad price, it's good. Got the headsets. Let's see, Recon 50P, 
for $24.99. If you wait until the actual day of Black Friday, you can get that from uh, GameStop for, I think, uh, $14.99. Let me look at some TVs here. They do have some nice sized TVs here, they look pretty good. Oh yeah, OLED. It's like the same thing they use on the uh, Nintendo Switch now. They use an OLED screen, which makes it look a whole lot better and more colorful. math I don't know if y'all noticed I mean realized but like you know like back in the 1990s high definition TVs did exist but back in the 1990s they were so expensive that no one could really afford them except for like rich people because like I think the cheapest one was like two thousand dollars but yeah HD TVs existed since the 1990s they've been around for a long time Now they're cheaper, like most people can afford them now. Um, yeah, I'm gonna buy this. Uh, don't worry, I'm not gonna film y'all or nothing. I'm making a YouTube video. No worries. What you doing this YouTube video on? Um, well, I'm just buying this game and talk about sales and stuff. Let me put this over here. Certainly. Pants are sagging. Great game. Community, not so great. But the game is amazing. Oh yeah, I believe you. I've seen gameplay of it. Yeah, the, the community can be a bit toxic. But the game, I love it. Oh yeah. I've run into toxic people before, especially on um yeah, it's on sale. Gears of War 5. No, I actually quit playing that because of the community. Yeah, I, I mean, I'll jump on it every now and then, but then, like, I, I had one dude because I wouldn't do what he wanted me to do. Shoot me. Yep, that I had some dude follow me game to game that would sit there following me, shooting me at the start. So then I came back and shot him, and everyone's like, "Why'd you shoot him?" Like, because yeah. he shot me the game before. Yeah. That happened to me before. I called the Black Ops Four. I was I was just hiding and stuff, and the guy was accusing <laughs> me. Would you like back? Oh yeah. Yeah. A guy was accusing me of trying to like just KD build my KD and he started just following me around just shooting. He couldn't kill me, but he was just shooting around telling people my location and I just had to leave out the game. Yeah. But it yeah, was annoying. I know how you feel. That's the only part about this game I don't like. Like, the, I loved it before because tactics are so good and you have to be super strategic. It's just, you can run into some really annoying people that just like, oh, you're not doing what I said? I'm going to kill you instead. Oh, yep. Well, um, you have a good day. You Thank too. you. Nice talking. Huh. I just thought about... Wait. No. I think I... Yeah, I already bought that. Oh, man. Look. They got drones over here. 
Man, that's the number one thing I've always wanted to buy is a drone. But the only thing I've been worried about, though, is like if I'm filming like over like um, water or something, I wouldn't be able to reach it if it ran out of battery power. But I mean, it is nice, though. That looks good. I think these things record off of like their own separate camera because I see one right there, right below it. At least you don't have to put your cell phone camera on it because that's the one thing I was afraid of because, I mean, this cell phone I am have cost me $1,000 and I did not want to lose this thing in the bottom of the ocean. Let's see, I think they sell radars here. Oh yeah, I'm good. I think they sell radars here too. I actually, I do need to buy me a GPS system, just not right now. I like that one the most. I gotta put that inside my Corvette when I get the chance. I mean, buy one and put one inside my Corvette. Yeah, I remember I bought this radar before, but um, I did return it back because I saw a new radar a week later. It was back in 2020. I ended up buying me um, a Redline Escort 360C. And trust me, that radar pretty much pays for itself. I think you can order one here from BestBuy.com. But um, that's the number one radar you want to buy. Is um, Yeah, you definitely want to buy a Redline 360. No, an Escort Redline 360C. That's the one you definitely want to buy. Because trust me, with that radar, it can detect police officers from like over 10,000 feet away. So if you're speeding, you can just slow down and you won't get no ticket or nothing. I've had that radar over a year. I don't regret paying that kind of money for it because it was worth all the money. Definitely worth it. They got some tablets here. Value, the, uh, value tablets. I gotta put one of these in my other vehicle, but the only thing is though, I gotta put some kind of, I don't know, strap or lock on this, that way um, someone can't just steal it from the back. And oh, wait, don't worry, I'm not gonna film you just in case you want to know, I'm not doing that, I'm just doing this for YouTube. Oh, okay, no problem. Let's see. Yeah, I think these are on sale too. Man, I think they're, let me see if they have any good gaming PCs over here. Uh, oh, that's nice. Man, honestly, I wish this was here last year. I would have bought it. Uh, but anyway, I gotta go ahead and get out of here and make me some more money. <laughs> you too, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and end this YouTube video. I already got what I want here. Um, what was it? Yeah, this is the only game I get for now is Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege Deluxe Edition from Best Buy. It comes with all the DLC. 
go ahead and put this back in. Well, actually, hell, I keep on dropping it. Forget what time it is, but um, yeah, it's pretty packed up over here. But anyway, though, uh, this is Atlas Nights. I will see y'all later. Uh, like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And y'all have a good day. And peace.